the Good News Network, which we call GNN, even as you sit. Amen. Welcome to Jesus House DC, where hope is restored and potentials are maximized. This is Tosin Oluokun reporting the good news. Please stay tuned because you do not want to miss out. Summer camp registration is now ongoing for the JGEN Middle School Ministry. To register your JGEN student, please go to www.greatgraceinc.com forward slash summa cum laude. Payment for the JGEN summer trip accommodation is now past due in full. If you have not paid in full, kindly turn in all payments as soon as possible to the JGEN administrator in the COP office or go online to jesushousedc.org forward slash online payment. Please reference JGEN Florida trip and your child's name. Teenage Ministry of JHDC is getting ready for their annual summer trip. The summer trip is one of the main highlights of the Caleb Crew Ministry and is for all high school students grades 9 through 12. It is a special time of fun, friendships, learning, and spiritual formation. Caleb Crew teens will be holding fundraising events every Sunday to help augment the cost of their summer trip, and so we invite you to kindly support them by visiting their table to purchase items of your choice or to simply make a donation. The trip will take place from August 17th to the 21st at Camp High Road in Middleburg, Virginia, and the cost for teenager is $295. For more information or to register your teenager, please visit the Caleb Crew Fundraising Station located in front of the church immediately after service, or you may speak to any of the Caleb Crew adult leaders. Hello, JHDC 2016 Summer Camp is currently open for registration for children ages 4 through 12. This summer will include reading and math enrichment, swimming, field trips, music instruction, Mandarin lessons, public speaking, creative activities, cooking lessons, and hands-on STEM activities, all for only $135 a week. Discounts are offered for multiple children. Transportation will be offered within a 20-mile radius from church. Register today as space is limited. For more information, you may see any of the staff at the Children of Promise office. Thank you and have a great day. Militant evangelism not only highlights the fact that we are in a spiritual war, but it reveals that God has given us powerful weapons that promise victory for every soldier of Christ. This teaching climaxes with a wonderfully clear revelation of what God did for us at the cross. And if you get a grip of this teaching, the pleasures of sin and the glitter of this sinful world will be worth about as much to you as, the Apostle Paul said, a pile of dung. Welcome to Jesus House DC Mini Olympics. Yes, I'm your host, Anu, and we are here. It's raining really, really hard. As you can see behind me, we have all the children. They are playing their soccer game, and they're on the 10. We have different colors, yellow, green, red, purple. Everybody is trying to win. Are you ready? Let's get it started. And the rain is not going to stop you, right? No, no, no. So, no. is this the winning team? Yeah. yeah.
from all of us at the Good News Network to you and your family, have a productive and phenomenal week. Praise the Lord. Um, just a few additional announcements. Please don't let us forget this Friday will be the um, first of the month of July. God has helped us to be able to cross from the first half of the year into the other half. And being the first Friday, we're going to be having a praise and prayer night here at 9 p.m. I want to encourage each and every one of us to come and make it a date with the Almighty God. Come and thank him for what he's done in the past six months. And praise him in advance of that which you know and you believe he will surely do in the upcoming next six months. And to grace it for us will be our Reverend Shola Kolade all the way from Nigeria. Uh, we'll be here on Friday, 9 p.m. It's going to be a wonderful time in the presence of the Almighty God. The God of increase is still doing it amongst us. That's past Monday, God added to us in this church a baby boy to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Lashe Bikon. And up to date, God has blessed us with 11 wonderful babies, eight girls, and three boys, and we are still counting. And I don't know who may be here believing in God for something of that nature. The beauty of the God we serve is that he does not respect nobody. If he can do it for the Lashe Bikons, he can surely do it in your own life also. And in the mighty name of Jesus, right from here we shall announce the birth of your own child also. In the mighty name of Jesus. And also for those of us who are parents of teenagers, I know you've had announcement concerning the children of Promise about the upcoming summer program uh, that is being put together for them. And also there is an initiative that was um, initiated by Pastor Omo about two years ago called the Sumna Kumnade, uh, where, you know, uh, it's providing a kind of mentoring to teenagers. You know, um, this sum summer she's putting together a six-week program for those children you know, boys and girls, and it's only $140 um, dollars per week. But the beauty of it is that she's personally going to be supervising it, and she has a whole lot of programs for the children. For example, they will be tutored towards the next academic year in their course subject of math, English, science, and they will be tutored also in public speaking, uh, Mandarin language. They will be introduced to African uh, history also. They have a lot of um, trip programs also for them, and the beauty of it is also that for those of them who are girls, they will be taught in practical basic cooking lessons, uh, which you will personally supervise also. And for the boys, they will be introduced to um, skills in barbing and um, grooming, things like that. So please, if you are interested, you are a parent, you are interested, there will be a desk at the foyer at the end of the service. Please avail yourself of that opportunity. It's only $140 per week, and it starts tomorrow. So if you are interested, you have a teenager, you do not have a plan for them in the summer, please visit them at the desk, and they will be able to answer for that questions that you may have. How many of us believe America needs prayer? We need prayer seriously. Seriously like never before. And we have a group of people that God has put the burden of interceding for America at heart. Even as we move in to celebrate the Independence Day, we have Celebrate America here, and we have a group of um, individuals. Please come, sir. He's been here. He was here last year. He was here a couple of weeks ago also, but the week and the time is now. So please speak to them about Celebrate America. All right. Well, thank you so much. It's good to be here with Jesus House again, and uh, thank you, Pastor Gandhi, Pastor Omo, and uh, we're just excited about what God's going to do. This is our third year coming to D.C., and we're going to, uh, I'll share with you just a little bit more, but let's go ahead and run this clip real quick, and I'll get right into the announcement. Set my heart ablaze, and I may burn for you. I feel a stirring in my spirit that it is not too late. It's time for the church to rise up. It's time for the people of God to get bold. He says, these signs shall follow them that believe. When God comes and touches an individual, he will transform their life and they will never be the same again. And God has raised you up for this hour because he wants to use you. set this nation on fire for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and his name is Jesus. 
Hallelujah. All right. So this is a whole week of revival. Look at your neighbor and say revival. All right. This isn't just a time, you know, we're, we're coming together. But it's, it's, it's also, it's about having an encounter with God. So I want to encourage you, if you need a touch from the Lord, if you know somebody that need a, needs a touch from God, every night starting on July 3rd at 7 p.m., we kick off. And then on the 4th of July, we have a big cookout, fireworks, and, uh, and we're going to have a huge outreach. We're going to have thousands of people coming from all over the region. Now, we have a whole team that comes up from Tampa, Dr. Rodney Howard Brown and, and the Great Awakening team. And we come in, we do evangelism, and we want to encourage you every morning, too, at 10 a.m., we're doing soul winning training. You can get trained with our teams, and you guys go out soul winning, but you guys are inviting people back to your local church. You guys bring flyers, invite people back here to Jesus' house, but then every night at 7 p.m., and that's uh, Sunday through Friday, we have the revival services, so don't miss out. And we're at City of Praise Church with Bishop Joe Peebles. And a lot of y'all know the story. I mean, the Lord has restored him to his building. I mean, I could go through the whole miracle testimony of that, but we're just excited about what God's doing. How many of y'all know that America must have another great awakening? Amen. And it's not going to come through another church program, but it's only a move of the Spirit of God. And it's only when the body of Christ comes together. So we have teams, actually, right now today, we have over 30, they're in over 30 churches all over the city preaching the gospel and also just doing announcements and doing everything we can to bring together the body. So come, be a part, starting again on what night? July 3rd at 7 p.m. That's Sunday night. So we love y'all. Look forward to being with you guys. It's going to be an awesome time. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Gandhi. And also, uh, go by the table. If you didn't get a flyer, go pick one up and also register. You can register at the table at the back. Thank you.